Alright, here we go once again with Theme Hospital. Become Hoffman. Now, we're currently trying to beat the last level of the game. Even though <laughs> it's more like the game has been beating our ass in pretty hard, mind you. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know if you remember, a few episodes ago we were around 90,000 bucks only. But uh, hope, uh, thankfully, we are now sitting around 550,000 bucks. Uh, out of uh, yeah 750,000 bucks which what it, what is which is what we need in order to beat this last criteria here but it wasn't easy indeed in order to get where we are currently it was quite endeavor I think you uh, if you watch the previous episodes you know what I'm talking about um, actually we are doing so well uh, that I was thinking that I don't know, uh, we've been making quite some amount of money and uh, perhaps I don't want to be cocky, I, want to <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself, but it really feels like I might actually end up beating this, this last level uh, this episode, yes. But again, <laughs> I tried to, to uh, tell you when I was going to beat the, the game and it didn't work out well the last time I did so, right? I don't know if you remember that. Uh, I, it was a pretty poor uh, prediction, yes, <laughs> of when I was going to to beat the game, but I don't know, uh, things are, are, are really going well for us and hopefully I'm going to try my best in order to beat the game on this uh, episode. As a fact, I will even... Uh, are you in the... yeah, we're in the queue, it should be the next one. I will even... Tr tr why he... God damn, you really were the last guy for this epitome and you decide to go for the bathroom instead of going for the goddamn GP's office or even take your medicine. I think I went up failing this goddamn, goddamn, this goddamn epitome scenario or a challenge because of him. Actually, uh, now that I said that, I was actually reviewing the previous episode and... Uh, there were some results, some bad results, some consequences on the game that I actually point, uh, point the, uh, pointed out the, the game as the one uh, to blame for it, right? Uh, I actually uh, point the mechanics of the game as the one to be blamed for what happened in the game, right? And... Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if that's truly the case, another stop to think about that. I mean, uh, it could be the game's fault, but could it also be the player's fault, my fault, uh, um, for failing, yes, this epitome scenario here. I mean, uh, why didn't I actually... Uh, you have to treat this guy before uh, sooner. Yes. Why didn't I? Why wasn't I a little more efficient, or perhaps paid a little more attention to the, uh, to the epitome uh, scenario? Yes, or challenge, instead of waiting for the last second in order to to, to heal the uh, to heal the last patient. Uh, so yeah, I was thinking about this this behavior that some players have and, and that I showed here. Yes, where we actually, uh, if something goes wrong in the game, we actually end up blaming the game for it uh, or uh, saying that the game is, pr is poorly designed or uh, it has a faulty mechanic when it might not actually be the case instead it might actually just be the player's fault indeed uh, he might actually not be skilled enough or something but uh, it's interesting how we actually Usually we get mad about it <laughs> and uh, just blame the game and, and curse the developers and the uh, um, uh, designers for what happened to you in the game, but uh, hardly we ever take the blame for it. We, we actually assume the, the, the responsibility for uh, w the results you get in the game, right? So, I mean, again, not in this case here, yes, uh, this weird behavior here where the, the, the patient, instead of going for uh, uh, the pharmacy here, is it the pharmacy? Yeah, or going to take his medicine or instead of going to take, uh, getting healed, he goes for the bathroom first. And actually, that's not, first, that's not the first time I see this kind of behavior. Actually, not only the first time I see this kind of thing, on a, uh, I haven't seen that happening only on epidemies. If I'm not mistaken, some episodes uh, ago or in one of the episodes, one of the previous episodes, 
there was even this uh, patient which was about to die yes and instead of going take his medicine he decided to go for the bathroom first and actually died ended dying <laughs> because of that so I, I think that in this case if the patient is sick yes or about to die mm, is it really the game's, the game's uh, fault in that case because I mean you could have perhaps designed a better hospital perhaps you could have uh, paid attention to the hospital a little uh, better yes in order to put the, uh, the patients uh, who are about to die in front of lines, you know, speeding up his uh, diagnosed uh, procedure or something of the sort. Uh, but again, is it really the case that the player is just not being efficient enough, or is it the case. Where are you going? You should be. Not, uh, well, I think we've been fine, have we not? Yeah, we've been fine because this guy. Well, I don't know if it was because this guy decided to go for the bathroom or I didn't do a proper job. What is this? A proper job with that uh, uh, it, uh, challenge, yes. Seven people with serious radiation, uh, there's a bonus of 14,000, but we're going to accept it because we need money, definitely. So, well, since you took this much time in order to, to get to, <laughs> to the uh, pharmacy, now you can wait a little longer and go for the other uh, pharmacy, because what I'm going to do here is actually take care of this pharmacy, and place a decontamination um, uh, room. Yes, I think that's what we are going to about. We are about to receive people with radiation. Is that the case? I don't think so. And actually, this is a, uh, a good opportunity for me to illustrate a little further what I'm trying to say here, what I'm trying to propose here. Uh, now we have here this uh, emergency at our hands. Now let's consider the fact that I have not thought about uh, placing an extra. Uh, decontamination room because I have not considered the fact that the patients, the helipads is quite far away from that help. I mean, this helipad over here, right here, is actually uh, pretty far away from this decontamination room here, and there would be some uh, transit time for the patients to get from the helipad to the decontamination room, causing me to spend some time before starting to get them healed. And uh, since I spent some time, I might actually end up failing this emergency because of that extra time I took, or the patients took, in order to get uh, start getting healed. Now I would fail then the emergency situation, and I would perhaps be blaming the game, uh, yeah, for for failing. Yes, and now it actually might have not been the game's fault, but instead my fault for not. Uh, paying attention to this detail, yes, of how far the helipad is from my uh, from the uh, decontamination room, right? And this is what I'm talking about here. Is it when is it really the player's fault and when is it the game's fault? Now, in this situation to describe you, I'm more inclined to believe that it's the player's fault, yes, instead of the game's fault. I can't really see why would it be the the player's fault. Anyway, yeah, it's inconclusive for me. And why am I talking about all this inconclusiveness? And <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but uh, why am I talking about all this this, this stuff? Well, uh, and I forgot to tell you, as this might be the last uh, episode, I was thinking that I should actually. Did I say that? Yeah, I saw. Uh, I might actually start saying my last words, just yes, wrapping up this analysis, uh, giving my goodbyes even. Um, because, uh, well, I've been doing that for a while now. Yes, I think I started quite early. Have these patients been uh, proper? Nah, they haven't been proper split up across the rooms I have in my hospital. Well, there's one guy down here. But yeah, here again, perhaps uh, if uh, I could blame the game for not properly. Uh, another way to illustrate you, yes, for what I'm saying. Uh, I could have blamed the game for not splitting the, the patients evenly across the rooms in the hospital. And, uh, I mean, if I end up failing this this uh, emergency scenario or challenge, I could blame the game for not uh, properly splitting the, the, the patients across the rooms, or it could be the uh, saw as the player's fault for not paying attention to the queue and uh, for not manually uh, splitting the, the, the patients across the rooms. Now, uh, I think the whole thing here is that uh, is it the player who's just too, sp uh, too spoiled, yes, and expect the game to do things automatically? 
instead of just uh, earning his uh, good results or is it a game that really haven't been properly thought or uh, designed or the, the developers not think about the secondary effects of the, the mechanics I mean they thought of uh, what the mechanics would cause yeah, so how would they reflect on the game but have not thought of secondary uh, effects yes that it would be bringing like for example I'm quite confident well, I do believe that the patients uh, have this this um, tendency of going to the bathroom at some point but they have not thought about uh, blocking that tendency when they I don't know they are about to die or when there's uh, the emergency or the not emergency doesn't happen with emergencies but the epidemic is about to end and uh, instead of going straight for uh, the um, uh, for his uh, um, clinic or the room where he's going to get treated, they go for the bathroom. They forgot to block that that uh, script. Let's say. Uh, I don't know. I think it's definitely inconclusive. And I was telling you, yeah, as we explained, that we are going to give our last or review or analysis and give our last words. Uh, I'm talking about all of that. Have we treated everybody? There's still two guys left, right? Yes. Even though down here, there's one person here too. Uh, so I'm telling all of that because I'm really trying to think here if this is uh, how good this game is. Now, uh, with everything I told you, in spite of the latest uh, uh, negative things I, I pointed out, right? Uh, I think this game is at least a good game or a very good game. Uh, actually, I think this is an excellent game. I do. I think I'm going to talk a little bit about that before the end of the episode. But uh, like I think I, I said in the beginning of the series, this is not, however, a masterpiece like uh, I claim to be. Yes. Uh, not because of I cannot judge that or judge. No, judge is a strong word, but I cannot define that or uh, def yeah define that based on such uh, things like uh, I don't know patients going to the bathroom uh, before uh, uh, prioritizing the, their 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 medicine uh, or uh, define that it's not a god damn headset define that it's not a masterpiece because of uh, uh, these facts which I cannot tell if it's the game's fault or my fault uh, I'm actually defined that it's not a masterpiece because of the bugs. Yes, it's definitely needs some extra punishment uh, to perhaps get uh, to become a masterpiece, right? So uh, yeah, it's rather unfortunate indeed that it actually had some has some pretty annoying bugs, but that's not what caused me to say that it's not a masterpiece. But uh, again, I can't since I cannot tell uh, who is you can go take your medicine. Have we healed everybody? Uh, I think I have healed everybody. So let's get you on uh, the GP's office there. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. There's one. Uh, God damn it. There was one last patient there. What's, what is he doing? What? What's that? <laughs> he was on his way to the contamination room. This one down here? That was really awkward, but it doesn't matter because we made quite a good amount of money. I don't really understand what happened there, but uh, anyway, we're about to beat the level, so I'm not going to bother with such weird in, uh, uh, events w which I cannot understand. Probably there's a good ex explanation to what happened there, but I can't really tell. And I even forgot what I was talking about, because how weird that situation was. Uh, let me see if I can get my bearings here. Um, I think I forgot what I was talking about, but uh, I think I will remember about that eventually. So let me try and get another point here to discuss over or to review. So, uh, oh yeah, I think I was saying that uh, I cannot tell if this game is actually uh, an excellent game or an outstanding game because I cannot deter uh, tell if the uh, some things that happen in the game is actually uh, a flaw in the game or a faulty mechanic or if it's the player who's been just to to <laughs> spoiled yes or if it's the player's fault yes the, the player inability in that case my inability uh, 
So yeah, uh, it's inconclusive. I think it, I can say that it's at least uh, it's a, a, a excellent game, but I don't know if it's uh, beyond that. Uh, I do not have enough tools to uh, sell. Uh, can place a, just to for the kicks, I can place a drinks machine right over here, right? Yeah, there are no other drinks machine here. So yeah, uh, uh, I can't really uh, make my mind over uh, which. Uh, is the case. In any case, uh, if you are interesting, interested or on leaving some perhaps another point of view upon that matter or leaving your impressions, you can do so as always on the comment section below. Yes, just be respectful, uh, respectful about that uh, and, and uh, respect the fact that people may think differently from you, right? Uh, I forgot about checking these machines. So, and why would this game then uh, be an excellent one at least? I mean, it's I made I already made it clear on the previous episodes. Yes, uh, how hard is it to achieve uh, what they have achieved here? I know there's a lot of bugs. Uh, yeah, does it is it a lot of bugs? Well, there are bugs in the game, right? But still, uh, many games now they have this almost the same amount of, uh, of bugs, <laughs> perhaps. But still, they uh, haven't managed to achieve half of what they, what they achieved here. I mean, the graphics here are outstanding. The animations are very good. Yes, uh, the the sound fits properly the game. The theme of the game, the graphics of the game, uh, the theme it was. Uh, I mean, the graphics fit the theme as well. Uh, the music is very good, fitting the theme as well. Uh, uh, contributing to the overall player experience that was very expensive um, and not only that as the the mechan the way well the mechanics they place in the game are also at least okay I haven't really thought about uh, how complete uh, are the mechanics of this game but uh, one thing that I have to praise them for is uh, how they managed to release the content of the game little by little throughout their levels, yeah. so the player always has something fresh to play with, yes, uh, it, it always, uh, it, it hardly gets though, I mean, uh, I know I said that uh, lately that the game was a bit dull, or perhaps even comment said something of the sort uh, a few episodes ago, yes, uh, perhaps halfway through uh, the game, but again, uh, I think I'm an uh, experienced player, I have played this game a lot before, so is it, it isn't really that uh, new to me, yes. So some of these things are, yes, because I never beat the game. I might have the chance to do so in this episode. Let's look at the time and make sure that it will happen because there's still quite a way to go. Um, so uh, all of those things make this game at least ex excellent. And this game is actually considered by other people a, a masterpiece. And I'm certain that it's for no, uh, not for any reason, yes. And today I, I think you can say that uh, I understand why is it considered a masterpiece. Yes, it uh, definitely can be used. Uh, like I told you, uh, nobody has ever managed to make a, uh, a spiritual successor to Theme Hospital or a game uh, better or as not even as good as Theme Hospital. So uh, there's this certain magic to the game that nobody really managed to capture. Uh, they really achieved something here that. Oh, there comes an earthquake. Wait, 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 wait. What is about to... Oh, there's some things a bit damaged here. Last check this one. Okay, it's, I don't think it's going to blow up on me. Even though they are pretty damaged, I think it will be fine. Let's check these machines over here. This one might need some uh, repairs. I think it's okay. Don't... don't. Yeah, I don't think I need to, to worry much. Unless it's still taking damage. I think that the, the earthquake deal all of its damage at once, yes, or deal damage to the machine all at once, it doesn't uh, deal damage over time to the machines, so uh, I don't, no, I don't do that, I don't have to worry about uh, uh, the machines degrading even further than what is presented before me. Uh, what was I? Uh, so yeah, uh, this, 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 uh, all of the, the, these things of people calling this a, a classic, uh, a uh, uh, must masterpiece. I don't think it's a masterpiece. I never told you why, but uh, there's all this. this they made a lot of uh, things right in the game, yes, and that is what actually uh, placed them 
uh, as a uh, standard or even a measure to other uh, tycoon and uh, managing games. So, uh, yeah, I think we cannot. Uh, I think this machine, yeah, this has not been attended. Uh, this one haven't been either. We cannot. Uh, uh, we must praise the as the game uh, for what it has achieved and uh, give it the proper respect. Yes, because it sure deserves it. Um, now. Uh, I was thinking if I would actually uh, recommend this game, and that's actually a little bit tricky. Uh, which machine is still freaking uh, damaged here? Because that that sound is actually because there's a, a goddamn machine uh, about to uh, blow up or something. Oh, it's a very easy uh, epidemic. Let's see what is it. This guy needs to be treated. Uh, okay, he's already been diagnosed. Anyone else sick? Even though I hope my nurse get to him before he spread the disease. Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking if I would recommend people this game. I think I would, yes. But only if they were actually uh, fans of Tycoon and managing games. And uh, by the way, I was uh, uh, I found out that there is a, a film hospital version. <laughs> uh, are you going for the bathroom? Yeah, just to spread the other disease. But I think that my nurse already. Uh, yeah. The, the they vaccinated him. I hope there's no one else sick here because sometimes I can miss that uh, or uh, overlook some sick patients. I don't think that's the case here. What's going on with you? You should be in front. Okay, you are the next one already. And uh, now that's an interesting uh, proposal, yes, to, uh, to uh, recommend the mobile version of the game. I mean, uh, I most of most of the come on, let me select the freaking door. Most of the uh, mobile games I know are pretty shitty, and pretty bad, even. Um, and now, if you are in a situation where you are just bored, you know, you are away from your computer. Uh, I don't know. Um, you you are in a situation that requires you to be patient. And you have nothing else to do. I think that it's a, a, a good recommendation to give you. Yes. Or uh, I could recommend you to actually play this game in such situations over other uh, mobile games. Because you are definitely going to get entertained by the game, go going to get distracted by it. It uh, does the trick just right. Uh, let me just check here. Uh, okay, we've been paid some extra money. There's an emergency. I think the game is throwing a lot of things to on us in order to so we can make the last amount of money we need. Now, I don't have a, a, a alien DNA. Uh, uh, sorry, no, it's a DNA fixer. Yes. So I'm going to buy this wing. I'm going to spend some money on it, I know, right? But I think I'll be making more money uh, by placing this room than not accepting the emergency because usually this, uh, this kind of procedure and that's a lot of money, so let's speed up the time and allow the patients to come. I didn't check how many of them were there. I don't know if I need to place only one room or perhaps more than just one. Uh, let's see, it's a lot of them. Yeah, <laughs> no, I need to place an extra. Yeah, I know I'm spending money also with the... the uh, by placing these uh, rooms here, but after the emergency, I can just get rid of them and get the money back. I never actually uh, found out if you get all of the money back, but I think you do. Uh, I need a doctor too. Where are my doctors? I need one immediately, mind you. Department, uh, research department. Uh, do I need people in the research department? Uh, you are you are fully rested here. You go uh, for this room right here. Hopefully he will not leave without me telling him to do so. You are research psychiatry. Come on, let me select him. That's wood. That's a lot of how how many are there? <laughs> uh, four, five, six. Is it twenty-two? 7, 8, 9, 10, oh no, it's 11 or 10 or something like that, so let's spread them evenly across the, the room, you can immediately, come on, let's select the garden door, you can go immediately for this one, so can, have, have the game actually split them evenly, why have you left, dude, god damn, get inside there, uh, yeah, there's nobody in there, let's, uh, oh, I found one of the doctors that actually left in the middle of the emergency, I think I saw that happening once, I'm not sure. Yeah, the doctor leave me, uh, leaving the room, uh, in the middle of the goddamn emergency. Even though I think that when that happened, it was 
because the doctor was uh, tired already. I have not paid attention to that. Again, another situation where I, uh, I think I blame the game when I should have paid attention to the doctors. Uh, yes, uh, see if they were too tired or something. Uh, qualified surgeon. So we have some... some Ooh, we have 700,000 bucks already. <laughs> I think we are definitely going... Yeah, I think I, even if I have to stretch this uh, uh, episode a little further, yes, or let it go, run a little further in order to beat the, the game, and I think I will do so, yes, make it a little longer. Just make sure we're going to beat the game. I think I will do so. Uh, and actually, we're going to get some money back uh, off these rooms. No, I don't want that. Yeah, there we go. Perhaps we even have the right amount of money already. Let me check it. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. We we beat the, this level. Uh, even though I don't know if the game will end now, it should have already ended. Uh, you can come, doesn't matter. Uh, or perhaps I have to end, uh, wait until the end. Of, yeah, I never figured that out. Sometimes you have to end, uh, wait until the end of the 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 the, the, uh, the year in order to finish the game. Sometimes it just ends right before you you beat the last criteria but apparently I have to wait until December god damn hats I think that that's really annoying so yeah since we definitely beat the game here uh, I can tell you that, yes that the impressions I get of the game as I'm finished as a player yes is that it was a really good experience I had a lot of fun with it uh, it was quite entertaining at least until the middle of the game Yes, where uh, uh, I start to it doesn't matter. Let's just uh, leave that there. <laughs> uh, when I start to say that was uh, was getting a little bit dull. Yes, because some of these uh, events here are actually uh, nothing new to me. Yes, that's uh, supposedly an exp oh, it accepts automatically. Yes, uh, uh, I'm supposedly an experienced player, so. Uh, this is I'm kind of um, how can I say uh, uh, used to, to what the game is pr pr proposing me yes or what the game is using to entertain me is nothing new yes it doesn't uh, uh, excite me as it would do so uh, if I was uh, like it did a few years ago yes when I was younger uh, this game really entertain me a lot even though I never managed to beat it I w and I would fail again, again, again. <laughs> I would always come back for it and have a blast with it. Uh, and again, playing this game, uh, I really had a lot of fun with it. Yes, it uh, left a good taste in my mouth, let's say, um, in, an, in, in a analogy. So, uh, if you like managing games, I do recommend this uh, from the hospital. You can buy it on Good Old Game. That's the only place I remember or I can tell that you can find it. Uh, apparently you can buy uh, uh, or download it on your, I think you have to pay for it, on your cell phone. I don't know how or where, yes, uh, uh, where you purchase it or where you download it, uh, but apparently you can get it to... Wait, what? I have to increase my... Have I lost some... I, I don't know what is it talk Have I you are getting close to your, to winning. Increase your hospital value, but hospital value. So far, it's worth. No, I've I've already went over it. I have like four extra thousand bucks beyond the the the, uh, the amount I need. So I don't know what he's talking about. Am I? Haven't I actually beat the game yet? <laughs> I have killed four a uh, thousand four hundred people. Jesus Christ. I don't know what he's talking about. Now I'm afraid that I'm actually not realizing something here. Let's put up the time and see the end of the year to make sure I, I, I've not forgot about something. But in any case, yeah, uh, for those purposes, yes, for those people, I recommend the game. If you're not much into this kind of game, uh, I don't know, you might have fun with it. I will leave to you to decide so, yes. I think you have more than enough tools this series. There we go, end of the year. I have uh, with this use. I, I think I gave you more than enough tools to decide this uh, if you like the game or not yourself. Yes. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, nothing special to consider here. Uh, we got first place on the on amount of money. I didn't follow what we were going to do. So uh, okay, nothing that special money-wise. Uh, have we beat it? And there we go. It's the end of Theme Hospital. 
uh, even though there's another ladder, is it uh, really the last level? Yeah, it is the last level, so there we go, Thing Hospital for you, quite a f little fun game, uh, I, I gotta say, I'm quite happy to beat the game, let me just read this. Uh, dear Halfman, you have proved yourself to be the best hospital administrator in medicine's long and checkered checkered is that how I say that checkered history. Such a momentous uh, achievement cannot momentous anyway momentous achievement cannot go unrewarded. So we would like to offer you the post of supreme chief of all hospitals. Okay, this is an honorary uh, job and comes with a salary of that much. It's a lot of money. You will be given a tic ticker tape parade. I don't know what's that. And people will show their appreciation wherever you go. Thank you for all you have done. Uh, may you enjoy a long semi retirement. Uh, and I have to thank you for your time. There goes uh, Film Hospital. Let's see. I think there's one last yeah, animation. Uh, There we go, the end of the hospital. <laughs> yeah, they just go too fast. Um, yeah, it just cut me there. Uh, there will be other games that I will be uh, uh, making analysis, so uh, while this series ends here, I hope you stick around the channel and check out other analysis. Perhaps have the chance to, if you couldn't, make a comment or take part in the discussions on the analysis. Uh, you may have the chance to do so on uh, another series, okay? So, as always, thank you for your time, and see you around.